Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be the 7 Deadly Sins of Beauty tag video because I was tagged by the lovely Ingrid Miss Glamorazzi here on YouTube, so I will link her video down below. Just if there's like a 1% chance that you haven't seen it, um, you can check out her video. But the questions are really amazing and I'm glad that she tagged me, so I'm just going to get right into the tag because the questions are too good for me to sit here and blabber for 5 minutes. Number one is greed. What is your most inexpensive beauty item and what is your most expensive beauty item? So my most inexpensive item I think would have to be a Sally Hansen nail polish because this was only I think in the $2 range. This is Pacific Blue, one of my all-time favorites. And as far as my most expensive item, I was going to say my Naked or my Naked 2 palette because they are pretty expensive um, or maybe like some kind of cream or you know some facial product that I use on my face but I didn't think that'd be too interesting um, so I'm actually gonna break the rules and say my most expensive item is actually a little mini collection I have going on um, and that is with my YSL Rouge Volops because I own a bunch of these babies they're falling out of my hands but it's like the best lipstick ever I'm actually wearing one on my lips right now number 27 I'll put the name down below um, but I own a bunch of those lipsticks. They're like my absolute favorite. I've mentioned it in a lot of videos. So, And I will be doing a demo slash review on those lipsticks where I, I will try on all of the colors for you guys. Um, that's going to be coming up probably in like a week or so. Um, yeah, so that is my most expensive beauty item. Number two, what beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? And this is for Wrath. Um, I don't have one to show you, but it would probably be facial masks because I buy them with the intent that I'm going to use them and usually I'll like wear them or try them out on my face for like a week or two, you know, because you don't want to wear them every day and then I kind of forget about them. I think about using them, I'm like, oh, I don't really want to because it takes a while, you have to leave them on your face for 10 minutes and I'm just not in the mood. So I definitely have the good intent and, you know, the love there when I purchased them, but then I ended up like neglecting them and, and never using them pretty much, which is not good, but... Number three, gluttony. What are your most delicious beauty products? Um, I actually have two to show you guys. One, which is just the, sm the scent. I was going to say the smell, but the scent, the smell, whatever, is amazing. It's by Bliss, and it's the Blood Orange and White Pepper Hand Cream. I actually got this in one of my birch boxes a while ago. I've never, I used to never be a fan of like citrusy orange type smells, but for some reason, because this has like the spiciness to it, I just absolutely am obsessed with it and I love it so much. So if you've never smelled this hand lotion, I highly recommend it. I believe you can purchase these at Sephora. So yeah, it's so delicious. My second delicious item is my Dolce & Gabbana perfume in number three. I'm not even going to pronounce that, but there's a lot of different numbers. This one is number three and it smells like grapefruits. So when I think of like delicious products, I definitely think of like fruity products and this one smells so good. If you are looking for a, like your new spring or summer perfume, you have to go to Sephora or department store, any department store and smell the Dolce & Gabbana number three because it smells to die for. It is just so fresh and so yummy and it has like a grapefruit undertone, a very strong grapefruit undertone, but it's just delicious. I cannot even tell you how amazing that smells. Trust me on that one. So yeah, those are definitely my most delicious. Number four, which is sloth. What beauty products do you neglect due to laziness? For me, that would absolutely be fake eyelashes. If I wasn't so lazy, I would wear fake eyelashes every single day. I would never skip a day because I have short eyelashes and it's definitely something that, you know, sucks having short eyelashes. Um, but yeah, I am just so lazy with fake eyelashes. It's just a pain in the butt to put them on if they move. I, I can put them on pretty easily, but I, you know, I think everyone once in a while you're going to have issues putting them on if the glue gets wherever and then taking them off. You always have like the glue and then you got to get out your eye makeup remover and get the extra glue off. It's just a pain in the butt and when your makeup is all pretty and fresh and you just applied it, I hate the like idea of messing it up getting like eyelash glue on it if I don't place my eyelashes correctly. So yeah, I love the look of fake eyelashes but I'm just too lazy to take the effort to wear them every day. Number five, what beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? Um, I kind of think nail polish gives me a little bit of self-confidence just because it's something that whenever I'm out and about, like other girls and whoever, even guys, I've gotten a guy at Starbucks one time told me my nail polish was really nice. Um, a lot of people will notice my nails and stuff and that's something that I take pride in and it definitely gives me confidence when people, you know, when you're out and someone compliments your makeup or your nail polish or something you're wearing, it makes you feel really good. So, and that is, you know, my nails 
are something I get complimented on a lot, so I do take a lot of pride in that. Also, my foundation. My Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation is amazing. It's a full coverage foundation, and I do have redness like under my nose and stuff. Um, I don't have on any makeup in my foundation routine video. If you want to check it out, I'll put the link below, but I think foundation for everyone gives us a little bit more self-confidence because it kind of gives us a smooth, even canvas on our face, so I'm going to say nail polish and foundation for that one. Number six, lust. What attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? And I find this question a little bit odd because it has nothing to do with makeup really. Um, but the attributes, like physically, I really like dark hair and dark eyes. Of course blue eyes are amazing on guys, but I'm always, I've always been someone more attracted to like the darker look. Um, I don't like blonde hair at all. I love blue eyes on guys, but I like dark, dark, full, thick hair on guys. I've um, never been really into blondes, although Brad Pitt is the exception. And Ryan Gosling, he has blonde hair, doesn't he? Kind of, like, ish. Maybe I take my dark hair thing back, actually. But other than physically, I love a guy who can make me laugh. Obviously, I think we all do. I love a guy who has passion about something. I love, pretty much, um, guys who are into technology and that kind of thing. Um, pretty much just like my boyfriend. Um, I love that he is so into like technology and cell phones and he's just so smart and he's just he teaches me something new every single day and he's just an amazing guy so yeah I think I found like the perfect guy. We found each other when we were super young but we've definitely grown together and he's pretty much what I find attractive in the opposite sex so yeah. Number seven, Envy. What items would you most like to receive as a gift? Um, so I'm assuming they mean makeup products whoever made up this tag, um, even though that last question was not makeup related. Um, I'm going to say I really wanted that NARS blush palette that came with all the different colors. That would have been an amazing gift to receive because it was pretty expensive so I never bought it for myself. Um, like to receive as a gift any kind of nail polish as long as I don't already own the color which is pretty hard for people to buy me nail polish. Always love nail polish. Um, non beauty related I would say, or actually beauty related going back to that. Perfume was always a great gift because perfume is pretty expensive and it lasts for a long time so that's a great gift. Um, but non-beauty related gifts that I like to receive are jewelry pretty much. I love anything that sparkles, anything that's big and bold and makes a statement. I just love jewelry. I actually really love a delicate jewelry though too, like tiny little pieces. It either has to be like really delicate or like really bold um, but I'm just in love with jewelry. I have a huge obsession. I love, 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 love jewelry so my poor boyfriend <sighs> is the 10 questions I hope you guys enjoyed this tag video thank you so much Ingrid for tagging me I love you um if you want to answer these questions if you don't film videos let me know your answers in the comments below um or if you do film videos or if you've already filmed this you can leave your video as a video response so we can all watch it um but I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to check out my second channel Miss Jen Vlogs my Twitter and Facebook at Miss Jen Fabulous and my fashion and makeup beauty blog polishandpearls.com so it's a big spiel um, I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you liked it and I'll talk to you guys very soon bye